Hello, uh, my name is uh, Rolf Sederstrom and I'm the founder and uh, CEO of a business called Pagantis. We are a consumer credit company in southern Europe. Uh, we've got offices in uh, Madrid, Barcelona, uh, Milan and Paris. Some of you may be familiar with Jerome Gisselbom. He's a former Dutch uh, finance minister, and he made some headlines uh, in the aftermath of the financial crisis. He let know that uh, the Southern Europeans were spending all their money on um, uh, wine and women, and now needed credit. So uh, in a crisis, there's clearly danger, but also opportunity, right? So. Another Dutchman, our main investor, thought uh, where Jerome sees danger, I see opportunity. So he's very bullish on consumer credit in uh, Southern Europe. And uh, Sake is in very good company. Our other cornerstone investor is a credit fund based in New York, about two billion, and they are extremely good at targeting credit opportunities. Uh, they uh, made an enormous amount of money uh, in the subprime uh, crisis in the US, uh, in the trade that was made famous by the, the movie The Big Short. They probably made about a, a billion dollars in 2008. And they are very, very excited about consumer credit in um, Southern Europe. Why are they so excited about this particular opportunity? Well, the consumer credit market is very large and very profitable in the region. So there's well in excess of 300 billion um, euros of assets outstanding. And, but more importantly, it is a very profitable segment. So if you look at BNP Paribas, which is the, uh, one of the largest banks in the world, they're very active in the region. And if you look at their profitability overall, they've got a return on equity of around 8%. But looking at the consumer finance segment of their business, they do about 28% return on equity, which is good by any standards. And it's actually one of the few bright spots for the banks in terms of profitability. But maybe even more exciting for our investors is the fundamental shift that the consumer credit market is going through thanks to the introduction of new regulations. So if you look at some more advanced countries like the US, UK, Sweden, you'll see that there are hundreds of specialized consumer credit companies, very dynamic and very competitive. If you look at Southern Europe, there's really just a handful of local banks that own the whole market. And that's because it's very difficult to enter into the market because of the lack of information. There are very few data points which make it very expensive for people to enter into this market. But with the introduction of PSD2, consumers are now allowed to share their online banking data, uh, all the transactions, everything they have, with companies like ours to allow us to make a very, very good uh, credit decision, radically removing the barriers to entry and opening this market up. There's another aspect to this, which is that traditionally banks are very local, very country focused, and they will have grown to scale by basically developing a supermarket of products. They have everything there. They've got retail, wholesale, uh, consumer finance, uh, capital markets, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas fintechs um, are looking to really just focus in on one product, but bring that across multiple geographies. And again, this is a, is a trend that's exasperated by the EU directives, which allow us to passport our licenses into um, new territories. So uh, with this fantastic market opportunity, why did they decide to invest into us? Well, 
the consumer credit market is, is actually quite complex and you need a number of assets in order to be able to execute properly in this. You need the right regulatory setup, you need a strong and healthy balance sheet that can grow, uh, you need a really good risk model, and of course you need awesome products. And we really have all of that. So we're a payment institute, uh, which allows us to issue consumer credit and access open banking data. And we are regulated to operate in Spain, France, Italy, and Portugal. We have a sophisticated balance sheet whereby uh, all the loans that we underwrite are securitized in a finance vehicle, which is funded through various sources senior debt, mezzanine, and equity. And this allows us to grow the loan book very effectively with a minimal amount of equity. So in order to get to a billion dollar loan book, we will be looking at something like 90 to 100 million euros of equity. We have originated uh, well above a million loans on our platform and we've created an extremely good credit model based on this data. So we have a very good track record in the region and fraud is negligible. And finally, we have an amazing set of products. Primarily what we do is we do uh, point of sale finance for e-commerce. So when you get onto an e-commerce uh, site, and you're looking to buy something, there are the traditional payment methods and our financing method, which allows you to split your payments up to two years, 24 monthly payments. And basically, when you ask for the credit, it's a 30-second process compared to what the banks have today, which will be anything from 48 hours to a week, and it does involve quite a lot of paperwork. And we also uh, distribute uh, credit cards in a similar digital and virtual fashion. So you want a credit card, you apply, it's a 30 second process, we give you the credit card with the limit, it's ready, working, you click on the link, you add it to your Apple wallet, and you can pay within uh, you know, a minute of having applied for the, uh, for the card. So, that's uh, Pagantis. Thank you very much. Uh, I was told to make this as quick as possible as we're running out of time, but thank you for your time.